Welcome back to Fox Fight Game. This is round two. Let's once again around the horn with Danny Schatz hey and Marcus Mirror from Guillotine, Ariel Hawani, and uh, AOL Fan House, John Moody from TristateFighter.com, and of course, Tara LaRosa, the WAMA number one ranked women's MMA fighter in oh, Wama. the world. Go WAMA. Speaking of that fighter, <laughs> <laughs> let's do a little flashback from YouTube. The girls that have to, you know, use their sexuality to sell themselves obviously are compensating for something that they're lacking in the ring. Do you think you hurt yourself or did ESPN E60 hurt you? Explain what happened and explain if that was all accurate. They showed 30 seconds of a two and a half hour interview that I did perfectly. I, I thought that I gave them nothing to work with that was negative at all and they pulled 30 seconds of what I said uh, <laughs> to a question that they asked me that had nothing to do with Gina. Welcome to the world of big media Tara Rosa. Welcome to the world of big media. So while Marcus is telling you to fix your locket, you couldn't, you couldn't pick a better time to do that. Um, what? Um, Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for blowing the spot. Thank you. Thank no, you, you blew the spot. I'm trying to engage her in a conversation. You're going, <laughs> and she's like, what? What? <laughs> Dude, take five. Take five. Um, welcome to the world of big media. Talk about anybody can take anything you say at any time. I mean, just think about it. I have Marcus Mir on the panel, and people think he's straight. Oh. Because <laughs> oh. I, mean, that's, I got to make him look good. Oh. You got to separate the two. Oh. 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 Wow. Nice. Oh. Anyhow. We're going to have to settle this later. Yeah, that's it. So, so, all right, two and a half hours, or in your words, a two and a half hour interview. Where are you from? You're from Philadelphia? I'm from South Jersey. You're from South Jersey, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they took the, that 30 second bite, and that's the bite heard around the world, wasn't it? <sighs> I caused so much heat for that. I mean, from the blogs to the forums to everywhere. I mean, it was everywhere. And could it have hurt your career? Let's be honest. Could it, could Strike Force be looking at it and say, you know, Gina's our number one prospect if they indeed sign her. I don't want Tara LaRosa around my around my league. Could it could that be be a, an afterthought of that? I think the only reason why they wouldn't have me in there is because they thought that I could beat her. I honestly, I mean, I I was on the E60 report, so my name got out there, people were watching it, so it's just name recognition. People would tune in to find out, ooh, is she going to fight Gina? What's going to happen? Oh, I hope Gina, you know, kicks her butt because she's talking trash or this and that. I, I think that something like that, even if it did come off as derogatory, would be a draw. They'd use that to their advantage. I, I, I think that they're maybe worried. I don't, I don't know. Well, you know, even if, I think Gina would be up to the task. Mm -hmm. Certainly, it'd be a great fight, don't you think? Uh, I think it would be a terrific fight. Um, one that, if anybody have, has ever watched her or I fight, I need to get it to the ground. Obviously, I think that's you know no big secret. So, um, I think the key between that fight would be: can I get it to the ground effectively, and can I finish it? You know, she's now, a big girl. You know, we've all <laughs> been around MMA for a long time. Let's take it to Moody. Would would you watch a fight between Tara and Gina? Are you kidding me? Absolutely. We were talking before the show started. You know, where is Strike Force? Why why aren't they dialing up your phone? Why isn't your phone ringing off the hook? Because, you know, the women's field is still relatively small for fights that can make money and bring attention. And it's you, Cyborg, Gina. You know, so these fights got to happen if if that division Karen, wants to grow. Yourself. These two are the biggest bashers of women's MMA there is. I'm it's the okay. biggest fan of women's. Are you MMA. kidding me? I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Listen, I'm a huge fan of good I'm a, fights. I'm a huge but, fan of good no, fights. But but I and I, and I call Tara but out your in that arguments interview. are how many good fights are there to it's be true, made? But I'm just saying that you have to you have to put these yeah. fights out there, and you know sometimes they're trying to make these matchups using the name like Couture, even though it's not the best fighter. But it's like it gets the gets them out there, gets them. Let me exposure. let me just go on the record. I would I would pay forty nine ninety nine to see her fight Gina. So would I. Boom, right there. Absolutely. Or Cyborg. I want those fights to happen. No no. No Sweet. arguments but, about it. But let's let's be honest. I mean, even my interview earlier with Tara, I was I was hard on you. I mean, I was hard on the on, on women's MMA. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of problems with fans watching women beat each other up. And the question I asked Tara was, why aren't there a lot of knockouts in women's MMA? 
and there's plenty of theories why. But I think that's one of the problems with women's MMA because you got 15 minutes of two women pounding each other's face, and by the end of the, at the end of the fight, their faces are blooded up, and that's hard for fans to take. Especially at this point with mixed martial arts, I think that's why um, <coughs> Zufa, who owns the UFC and WEC, has been a little hesitant to get into it because they face so much criticism just for the fact that they promote MMA events. Then they're going to say, oh, you know, we're going to have to hear from people who don't like women's fighting, whether it's women's boxing or women's MMA. So I think that. I mean, it's unfortunate. I think the biggest thing that's unfortunate is that I'm a fan of women's MMA, and I think that they certainly deserve their spot, whether it's on a Strike Force card, you know, a, a Bodog card in Japan, wherever. A WEC I, card, I perhaps. WEC would be awesome. I think it's unfortunate that. Yet,